Are you feeling the performance blues? Well, supercharge your system with the GTX 260 Core 216 from EVGA. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Well, I don't know what you were looking for, but you found Gadget at thetechstop.net. Why don't you sit a spell and get your geek on? I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits, with the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now let's get right to the tech. Over the past couple of months, we've received quite a few emails from fans just like you, asking us to take a look at some components that I would put into my own rig. Now, over the uh, last couple of months, we've taken a look at some odds and ends that might go into a system, and we've actually even taken a look at the Gateway FX540 XT, but they wanted to see something uh, akin to us building something from the ground up. Now, I uh, started with the video card, and so I called up my friends over at EVGA, and I asked them for something that wouldn't break the bank, and something that wouldn't necessarily cost me half of a mortgage payment, but would uh, give me the performance that I needed to run the most current games and give me that expandability, that upgrade path, so that I could expand the system rather than throwing it away as, well, games progressed. And they sent me this. The GTX 260 Core 216 Superclocked Edition is EVGA's brand spanking new upper mid-range graphics card that is priced to compete directly against the ATI HD 4870. It sports a NVIDIA GTX 260 graphics processing unit with 216 cores or stream units, up from the 192 stream units in the standard GTX 260. The GPU runs at 626 MHz, factory overclocked from the default 576 MHz clock rate, and sits on a 400 MHz RAM DAC. The GTX 260 backs up the GPU with 896 MB of DDR3 graphics memory, clocked at 2.1 GHz with an effective bandwidth of 117.92 GB per second. Rounding out the package is a NVIDIA Phys-X physics engine and a PCIe 2.0 interface. The GTX 260 has full support for DX10, meaning that it can support all of the latest eye candy in the most modern games and incorporates second generation unified shader architecture. It also has hardware support for the second generation Pure Video HD, which leverages the hardware of the GTX 260 to give you smoother video, sharper pictures, and more accurate colors during media playback. Out of the box, EVGA provides everything that you need to get your gaming system up and fragging in just a few minutes. EVGA includes two video adapters in the box. One is a standard DVI to VGA connector, and the other is a DVI to HDMI adapter. The card itself is a work of art completely enclosed within a solid case that both protects the components while acting as a heatsink and air ducting unit. It is a full-size PCIe card, so make sure that your system can handle the length. The GTX 260 is a double-width design, which shouldn't be a problem for most modern motherboards, which are designed to be used with such cards. The front of the card has a large squirrel cage fan that is quiet at low speeds and can move a considerable amount of air through to the card when turned up. The top of the card has two auxiliary power connectors next to an audio plug that you can use to link the GTX 260 to your sound system in order to give you audio warnings in case there are any problems with the card. The back of the GTX 260 has two DVI-I ports below a 7-pin HDTV connector. With its 896 megabytes of memory, the GTX 260 can support up to two 2560 by 1600 displays, and it fully supports rotating and all the other standard desktop functions. Everything is stacked underneath a large flow vent for the cooling of the card. EVGA bundles the GTX 260 with EVGA Precision, a powerful application that allows you to monitor the vitals of your GTX 260 in real time. It will also allow you to tweak various performance parameters of your card, including the core, shader, and memory clock, as well as the fan speed of the on-card cooler. Performance is great. In 3D Mark Vantage, the GTX 260 scored 11,482, coming close to the mark of our dual 8800 GTX in SLI mode, and beating the similarly priced ATI Radeon 4870 by more than 
Even though the ATI system had a 133 MHz clock CPU advantage over our rig, our rig bested it by 643 points in the all-important graphics score, and that was before we started tweaking the settings. We were able to clock our review unit up to 700 MHz, demolishing even the 3D mark of our overclocked SLI rig. In real-world gaming, there were no surprises. Bioshock ran perfectly, averaging 60 frames per second in the most challenging parts of the game. Crisis was able to run at 1024x768 with all the eye candy and at 1900x1200 with more conservative options. World of Warcraft was smooth and beautiful with all the effects turned on and the detail maximized. Also of note is the inclusion of Nvidia's Fizz X. This bit of silicon allows the GTX 260 to more closely simulate real-world physics. Translation, particle effects like water and fire and destructible environments like never seen before. PhysX technology is supported in over 140 currently shipping game titles. We'll see it even more in games like Cryostasis, Nurian, MKX, Backbreaker, Bionic Commando, Aliens, and Borderlands. The GTX 260 also supports NVIDIA's CUDA technology. CUDA is essentially a technology initiative that gives programmers a set of software hooks that allow them to develop applications that can use the normally dormant power of the GPU for non-gaming purposes. CUDA applications can be programmed in C, meaning that most every professional programmer should be able to optimize their applications to use the power of an 8, 9, or 200 series NVIDIA GPU. EVGA provides a power pack of applications that let you play with the various elements of CUDA. They include a folding application that shows how net computing projects like Folding for Cancer or the SETI initiative can benefit by harnessing the GPU's power. They also include one of the most useful CUDA apps, Bada Boom, a transcoding application that can take a media file in one format and convert it into another. In our test, CUDA support provided far better transcoding performance than would be possible by using the CPU alone. This is important for people who practice converting DVDs and other media files into formats that can be played on their iPods, iPhones, Xbox 360s, PSPs, Apple TVs, and other media devices. One of the signs that EVGA is committed to their users is the EVGA Step Up program. Within 90 days of buying your new EVGA card, they will allow you to trade in the full paid price of your EVGA product towards the purchase of a higher-end card. Registering your GTX 260 will also earn you a free copy of 3D Mark Vantage, which is good, because you'll want to keep benchmarking your card over and over as you play with the settings. The EVGA GTX 260 Core 216 Superclocked Edition is available online and at major retailers with a starting price of about $279. Now I know that $300 is not cheap. I mean, that's not just spare change. Even if you really want to build up your own system, $300 is quite an investment, but you have to look at what you're getting for it. Well, first of all, there's the expandability of the card. The fact that it can do three-way SLI, not just two cards, but up to three cards in one system, all with their own PCI Express Time 16 slot, giving you that, that well, just a massive amount of performance. The nice thing about that is you can start with one card, add a second card, and a third card as the prices go down. And so, again, you get to leverage what you already own rather than having to throw it out the window when the next game comes out, when DX11 is released, or when uh, they have the new version version of Crisis. Now, that being said, there, there are some very good things about this. I love the fact that you can uh, use the CUDA technology to write your own software. Now, it's, it's just C, so if you're not a programmer, you don't care about this. But if you are a programmer, it means that if you have any operations that are repetitive, if you have a lot of calculations, if you have a lot of number crunching, you now have the ability to use the incredibly fast GPU that is contained on the NVIDIA 8, 9, and 200 series chips to, well, speed up your application. And that's just sort of the dream, you know, to, to merge the power of your CPU and your GPU so that you can really fully utilize your computer whenever it goes. All in all, the GTX 260, the upgraded 216 core version, is a fine piece of engineering. And with street prices starting at about 279 they're a little high now because it was just released, but with street prices starting down there, it, it actually is cheaper than the alternatives from ATI, and I think it gives a much better bang for the buck. Now, there are faster video cards out there that will cost you five, six hundred dollars. There are more economical cards that will cost you one to two hundred dollars. But this is just a really nice midway point.
If you're looking for a video card, if you're building your system from the ground up, if you want to make yourself a custom gaming system, and if you want to follow my Uber Geek blueprints, might I suggest you take a look at the EVGA GTX 260 Core 216 Superclocked Edition. You can find out more about this product, see our full written review, at our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find all of our episodes in high resolution. Also, if you could, drop by our YouTube page, subscribe, and comment. Help us out. And if you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.